Hello and welcome to our second video on our in-depth training series and today we're going to go over how to attach and connect to your servers and how to attach a component so you can gather data from it. So once again this is a uh, enterprise version of software that I'm using which I would highly recommend because once you see how it works um, I think you'll, you'll realize that it's going to be a really good option for you. So the first thing we want to do is we want to set up our PQS server and this is the part of the software that takes data from your field devices and puts it into your database. So we want to go to our system tab and go to connect and this window will come up. So usually just the default HTTP and then localhost put in the username and the password and click add and now we have a server comes up and as you can see I have several devices attached to it either that I am actively collecting data from or that I have uh, connected to and downloaded previously now there is another way to do this and that would be if you were to have a central server and you want to log in to view the data on that server. So the way that would happen you click connect put in the IP address in this case it's pqscada.com, which is our demo server. Username or password. And then it will log you in. Now this would be the same principle if you had um, an IP address for an internal server that you had um, the enterprise version of software running on. You could log into it and you'd end up being able to view your data just the same as I can do with my personal server here on my computer. So it's the same principle. There's just two ways to go about doing it. So once you have your server created, um, you obviously need to start bringing in some data. So you can go to Actions, Add a Component. And here's a drop down menu. This is the type of components you can add to it. Um, in this case, I'm going to be adding a G5, which is our multifunctional digital fault recorder and then the IP address usually you know you want to leave the rest of this as default unless you uh, change usernames and passwords and etc put in your database usually just accept the defaults and name so we would call this something like G5 substation Emory Valley and then finish and close and now you can see we have connectivity so we're getting data we're connected to it it's looking for data to bring in and it's waiting to start processing that data once it gets here so in review there are two options to run servers on your soft software. One is to set it up directly on your local machine here. The other is to put in an IP address or um, a web server and log into it remotely. Either way will give you the data and the options you need. Um, and of course, if you have questions, we're always around for uh, consultations. Um, we will log in with a uh, web viewer and walk you through your setup and help you out to make sure you know you're, you're going where you need to go. Um, thank you for watching this video and be sure to follow us on YouTube, connect with us on LinkedIn, and like us on Facebook. Thank you. Have a great day.